Hello, Phil Swan here again from Llanelli Free Evangelical Church. I'm told that years ago, computer programmers used to have a phrase, and it was garbage in, garbage out. In other words, if you programmed your computer in a poor way, the computer itself would perform poorly. Now, at the moment, we are surrounded by an awful lot of garbage, or rubbish, to use a British term. The reality is that when you turn on the media or you look at what people are saying in social media or you pick up a paper or you sometimes just talk to someone if you pick up the phone or something like that, invariably what we're hearing, the background noise for our lives right now, is pretty dark. Pretty dreadful things happening in America. All the problems that we've got here with coronavirus. And as longer it goes on with the escalating numbers of infections and deaths, the reality is probably you're hearing about those affected in your own community and much closer to you. All of this can be really, really discouraging. And it's very easy to become a news junkie and to have your ear half listening to the news and what's going on all the time. Garbage in, garbage out. In other words, what I'm saying to you this morning or whenever you're listening to this, is that the more you fill your life with accounts of despair, discouragement, and what we might say the dark things in life, the more that will affect you as a person. In the Bible, we're told very clearly to set our minds on things above, on the good things, the things that are pure, the things that are good, the things that are clean, this isn't a denial of the hard things in life. The Christians are really aware of that. But it's the reminder that there's to be a discipline not to flood our lives with the darkness. And if right now all you're really hearing, the background soundtrack to your life is the, the gloomy news of today, the doom and despair, why not pick up a copy of the Bible? Or download one, there's loads you can download for free on the internet. And start reading something like John's Gospel or Luke's Gospel or turn to one of the Psalms and listen to what God has to say about life. And there you'll discover something transformative, something that can lead to a great sense of confidence and even deep joy as ultimately it points us to the fact that God understands you and loves you and has done for you in his Son, Jesus Christ, more than you can ever imagine. Turn garbage in into good news in, the good news of the Christian gospel. It will have a transforming effect on your mind and on your soul. Well, God bless you and keep you safe.